Good day, everyone. Welcome again to our PE 004, which is sports. Today, we are going to talk about the equipment in table tennis. Before we proceed, let's recall the first used equipment in table tennis by the rich big targets. Do you still remember the net used before? You are right. Books are used as net. How about the ball they used before? Exactly. Table tennis balls were made of cork or other materials. The last one is the paddle or racket. What did they use? Alright, it's the cigarettes bag. That was in 1880s, and later on, in 1900s, improvements were made to the equipment up to these days with the help of the ITTF. Ano nga yun ulit, ITTF? Very good! It's the International Table Tennis Federation. So, at this juncture, let's have a short pre-test for this topic. Are you ready? Let's proceed. Number 1. How large should be the table for the game? Please write your answer on your paper. Number 2. What is the diameter of a table tennis ball? Number 3. An official standard ping pong table is usually green, but it can also be what color? Number 4. On a typical paddle, what is the name of the layer between the blade and the rubber? Alright, so later, we're going to check if your answers are correct. These are the objectives of the International Table Tennis Federation. Number one, formulate laws in table tennis. Second, cease to it that the game is played as content for human skills. And third, monitoring the constant change in the equipment are being disseminated and strictly followed by all. So, dahil every year nagkakaroon ng mga palaro, international, national, local, or division, no? monitor nila yung mga pagbabagong nagaganap sa equipment and kung ito ba ay pinag-follow ng mabuti ng mga manilaro. Let's proceed to the equipment in table tennis. Let's talk about first the table. So, hindi kayo makakapaglaro ng walang table, of course. Kaya nga table tennis, no? The standard dimensions of a full-size table tennis table. So, remember, the width of the table is 5 feet long. The length is 9 feet. So, this is 5 by 9 feet. The net height is 6 inches and the height of the table is 2 feet and 5 inches. For the line, we have, of course, the side line. Kapag sinabing side line, syempre, yan yung mga nasa side. Kaya nga, side line. Okay, this one. And then the other side. Okay, for the center line, of course, nasa center, kaya nga center line. So, ito yan. And for the end line, nasa end. That's why it is called end line. So, for the sizes of the line, we have 2 cm for the side line. And the end line, we have also 2 cm. And then for the center line, we have 3 cm. And that's for the width. Huh? 
at the land. Let's talk about the ball. Of course, we have white and orange color of the ball. And the diameter of the ball is 40 millimeter. So, check nyo yung sagot nyo kanina sa ating pre-test. And must weigh 2.7 gram. It is made of celluloid or similar materials. So, napakagaan po nitong bola ng table tennis. Kaya kailangan di talaga dito ng control. So, ito yung unang skill na kailangan nyo matuto, yung ball control ng table tennis. Next is the paddle. Paddle is also called as the racket in table tennis. The paddle in table tennis are used to strike the ball onto your opponent's half of the table. As you observe, there are two colors of the paddle side to side. So we have the red one and the black. Alright, so may pa lang meaning yung color, no? So, yung black is for the speed and control, while the red rubber is for the speed and power. Again, black is for the speed and control, and red is for the speed and power. Ma'am, paano po yun ma'am nangyari? Eh, pareho lang naman sila rubber. May mga pagkakaiba-iba yung rubber. Okay, tingnan nyo to. Ganito ba yung rubber ng paddle nyo? Kung hindi, pag-usapan natin kung gawa na yung iba't ibang klase ng texture kapag hinawakan mo yung mga paddle na meron kayo. So, meron tayong normal. Ibig sabihin, plain lang siya. We also have short pimple. So, meron lang siya dyan mga dot, dot, dot na. Kaya nga, short pimple. Parang pimple sa face. And we also have the long pimple. This one, pahaba naman siya. Vertical and horizontal. We also have the anti-spin. Okay. Anong pagkakaiba-iba niyan, ma'am? We have the high friction. Kapag ganito yung texture ng inyong rubber, ng paddle, so mas high yung friction. While here, kapag low ang friction, hindi masyado nag-spin. No? Like nitong pizza. For the proper attire in table tennis, male and female should wear short sleeve shirt and short. And sa female, pwede sila mag-skirt. Or syempre, we short sa ilalim. Top and playing shoes. Alright, are you ready for the post test? Here, you can check your answer from the pre-text and you can still change your answer for the post-text. So, separate yung sagot nyo for the pre-text and separate then for the post-text. First question, how large should be the table for the game? The table should be 9 by 8 or 2.7 meter by 1.5 meter and 2 feet and 6 inches in 6 inches above the floor. For the second question, what is the diameter of a table tennis ball? Okay, the correct answer here is 40 millimeter. Should be white or orange in color. The third question, an official standard ping pong table is usually green, but it can also be what color? Correct, blue. On a typical paddle, what is the name of the layer between the blade and the rubber? The correct answer is sponge. The thickness of the sponge greatly influences the characteristics of the paddle. The thicker sponge provides more speed while thinner sponge provides more control. What is the correct proper attire in table tennis? 
A. Long sleeve, denim pants and rubber shoes. B. Sleeveless, short shorts and white rubber shoes. And C. Short sleeve, shirt and shorts or skirt, socks and plain shoes. The correct answer is C. For our activity for this week, I'm going to divide you into three groups. Each group will execute five routines of exercise, should be related to the table tennis, showing the table tennis movements using your paddle and or your ball. Each routine must consist of 16 counts, and then after 20 minutes of preparation, you are going to perform in front of the class and you will be graded using the criteria first execution of the movement 5 points synchronization 3 points complete routines and countings 2 points total of 10 points for next week this will be the group assignment each group will demonstrate and discuss the basic skills in table tennis for the group 1, forehand drive technique, backhand top spin close to the table, forehand push and backhand push, forehand flick, backhand flick, backhand loop the underspin ball. For the group 3, forehand attack the semi-long ball, forehand fast serve. Later, you are going to receive the end of lesson task 2 in our Google Classroom. We are going to use the Google Drawing to sketch the equipment in table pens. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and here's the references I used to create this presentation. Have a good day everyone.